Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome and today we're going to take a walk around uh, and there is another video of me driving it, although I did have a beard then, it was about a week or so ago, um, <laughs> of this, uh, La not Land Rover, this is a Jaguar XJS 4 litre uh, automatic in Moroccan red that's just come into us. Hope you like the videos. Um, the only reason there's a difference between the two dates is that it's been raining virtually constantly here and this is the only time we've been able to video, and video the outside of it properly. Anyway, hope you like the videos. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, K registration. So either 1992 or 1993. I think this one's a 93 actually. Um, Jaguar XJS 4 litre automatic. Um, finished in Moroccan red, which is one of the nicest colours for these, a really sort of dark plum colour. Uh, looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, fitted with uh, US style headlamps, although it's not a US car, but a lot of people fit these to XJSs because they're a lot better than the, um, the sort of, uh, what do you call it, lozenge shaped headlamps that the standard one has. Um, headlamp wash wipe, sorry, headlamp wash, not wipe. Um, it's also fitted with uh, Jaguar X300 supercharger wheels uh, with a matching set of four Michelin Pilot tyres. Uh, along with the wheels, the wheels were fitted at the same time as the um, Jaguar Sport suspension kit by uh, a known company, oh, I can't remember them, but they did a lot of restoration work on it. We have got the bills for it, but they fitted um, uh, a more sporty setup to the suspension as well. Um, otherwise, standard spec. Mr. Van Neil, not cleaning. No, oh, it's just where I'm just gonna put it out of the yard. Um, standard spec, one thing, I don't think the aerial comes up. Uh, the electric aerial doesn't seem to raise. Um, otherwise, obviously inside we have things like air conditioning, um, electric seats, all the usual toys that an XJS has. And this one has an absolutely beautiful interior. Um, headlining's been replaced. Obviously, sagging headline is a common problem with these. That's all been replaced. I think the seats have been re-upholstered re as well because they're in uh, excellent shape. Um, probably too good for the mileage, which is 120 odd thousand miles, 123, I think. Seats are superb. The wood is lovely. Um, interior is absolutely gorgeous, apart from one bit, which we'll come on to later. A little bit of wear on the car on the driver's foot. Well, but we'll get back to that. Anyway, um, this one, let's say, XJs, XJSs of this age do have a problem with uh, the bulkheads rotting. And um, this one was no exception, but uh, it has had all the rot cut out of the bulkhead and rebuilt by, uh, by a named XJ specialist, who, as I say, I can't remember the name, but we do have the, um, um, we do have the bills for it and what have you. It costs an absolute fortune, but um, it's all been, uh, all been done, which is nice to know. Looking round it, it's obviously been repainted because the paint is too good for a 1993 car. Uh, there is some micro blistering on the paint. Uh, on the bonnet, you may just be able to pick, pick it up on the video. There's a couple of spots there, another one there. There's a bit of micro blistering here and there, especially on the bonnet. Um, those are just watermarks down there. It's not uh, stains or anything. It's just where we've just given it a wash before photographing it. But uh, otherwise, looks lovely around the front end. Looking down the near side, it looks absolutely straight as a die. Really nice. Near side front wing is all good. There's no uh, rust bubbling up on the front wing at all. The wheels are in good shape, apart from the front wheels have both lost their centre caps. Apologies for that. Can't really see a lot inside there, I'm afraid. So we won't bother. It's just a bit of dirt. Um, look at the sill area there because that's always an issue with these and in there as much as we can and up here on the scuffle all looks good slightly wavy just here um obviously as it has had the bulkhead rebuilt and uh, possibly that's just a, uh, a function of the rebuild there slight waviness on the very corner of the scuffle just there but otherwise all good we have got no, that's just a watermark it's not a chip screen is in good shape Roof is nice, near side door and going down to the, again, to the sill area. Previous owner thought it had had a new set of sills on it at some point. That is just a mark. We'll go back to inside, door cards. Back to the interior, as you can see the wood is all nice on the centre console and up here on the dash. 
The headlining, as we say, is new. A couple of, oh, they're just marks that we didn't get off of the seat. Nothing, uh, nothing horrendous there. Just a couple of marks, a little bit of wear just there on the uh, outer bolster, but no more than that. Back, as always, looks like it's hardly ever been sat in. A couple of things on the interior, both of the front seat belt um, plastic covers have disappeared. The seat belts still work, obviously, but the covers have disappeared for both of them. Uh, they do tend to get a bit brittle and snap and what have you. Um, carrying on round, near side rear wing, that's just a bit of water. Again, there is a bit of micro blistering and orange peel on the, uh, on the near side rear wing. Bit of micro blistering here you can see it just on the video there that's a watermark but there is some micro blistering here again around the rear arch and around the rear wheel and down on the near side valance that is just dirt from where i've just taken it out of the workshop um around the back end all looks nice the boot is all fully uh, trimmed as it should be boot lid is nice there's a slight crack in the paint just there on the boot lid between there and there um, looking down the offside again looks very straight down there know, I've moved it 10 yards out of the workshop and it's got grubby again under here um, but that's just that's just dirt um, that is a bit of water that's running down Again, offside rear wing. Let's look at the arch more closely. And under there, offside door. Nothing to worry about there. That's just a, there's a slight blemish just here. Slight blemish on the offside door there. In fact, it looks, yeah, it feels sort of tar-like almost. It might come off. Yeah, it's coming off. It's a bit of glue. Okay. That's gone now. Um, that was a watermark, but again, there's a little bit of micro blistering on the um, up here. Well, a lot of it is water. Um, I did notice a small scratch. Yeah, a couple of tight scratches just there on the back of the offside front wing. And again, we'll go down here. up around here all the chrome is nice um, now interior wise what we're we talking about the driver's carpet weren't we yes driver's door card yeah the driver's footwell carpet say just slightly worn on the edge there and the piping on the edge is slightly sort of worn and old otherwise all good driver's seat couple of tiny areas of wear on it but no more than that to say I think these seats have been reupholstered. and then we'll go around have a look at the steering wheel and stuff and the dash all in all I think she's a rather lovely and say so this Moroccan red color is absolutely superb on these so I think there we have it my name's Simon you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 we can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com for any more info. Okay, quick bit of the engine running on this uh, 1993 uh, Jaguar XJS 4-litre. Uh, just done about 10 miles so it's nicely warmed up now. Very occasional dip in the idle speed but you may be able to hear but it comes back virtually instantly. Quite nice under that. There we have it, I think.